But there's something else that changed. An almost feminized look has been added to his face. But what could it be? It's not his eyes or his nose. It's his... Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill. And on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. Sometimes I use celebrities as examples of the type of work that one can get done on the face. So if you don't want to miss out on any more videos that I make, make sure to subscribe. Today's video is an update on actor Zac Efron, and it's in response to all of your requests for one. Zach caused a big stir a few days ago when he appeared on the red carpet for the first time in three years, and people couldn't stop talking about how different he looked. Take a look at this video. You know what, this is this is awesome, man. It's yeah. been a minute since I've done a red carpet, and this movie's really, really special. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, so it could be back anytime. As soon right as I'm know. done filming, we get okay. it back. Yeah, I do think he looks different, but not overtly so. I still think he looks like himself. Although, there are changes that I do want to talk about within this video. Please know that Zach has denied that plastic surgery is responsible for any of the changes to his face. Like in this recent Men's Health article where he recounts the accident that led to his jaw reconstruction in 2013, as well as a new reason for the different look to his jaw here in 2021, saying, the masseters just grew. They just got really, really big. And this video is not to dispute that. This video is simply a surgical explanation of the changes you're seeing on Zach's face. For example, if you wanted to look like this and you sought surgery, these are the procedures that would be responsible for giving you a similar look as Zach has. Of course, your starting point would have to be similar to Zach's as well. To really understand Zac Efron's face, we have to go back to Zac's history and where he started from. Now please watch this section of the video as it involves Zac's previous possible plastic surgery procedures. Remember, it's always allegedly. Here is Zac at 24 years old with a completely natural face next to Zach at 27 years old in 2015. It's between these years that most of Zach's initial facial changes happened. Let's start with his hairline. I see that it has changed from a square one that he previously had to a more rounded and filled in one. I believe this is a result of hair transplants to the frontal temporal angles. Most likely he had two procedures done so as to build the hair's density. Zach's eyes. I see a conservative upper blepharoplasty was done to even out Zach's upper eyelids and to remove the slightly sleepy look he had previously, which everyone loved. I see a finesse nose job where the tip cartilages of his nose were shaved to give his nose a chiseled appearance. I see a chin and jaw implant, both of which are a conservative size, which is probably why these initial first facial implants flew under the radar. Even though some may argue that Zach was only 24 in the before photo, it's easy to see that underneath his facial fat layer was an even and proportional jaw that did not separate from his chin. In the after photo, we see a completely different chin that is more bulky and separated from his jawline. We see a jaw that is broader at the gonial angles than his natural jaw. And this isn't from weight loss as his weight has remained pretty stable in these years that we're looking at. Before we move on, we need to talk about Zach's jaw injury and how it figures in with any possible plastic surgery that Zach may have had. Please pay attention to the dates I mentioned because they're really important from here on out. This is Zach at 25 years old in April of 2013, before his jaw injury. In this photo, Zach is at an age where his facial bones are done growing and he's in full adulthood. He has grown up. Here is Zach just five months later in September of 2013. Look at this area of his jaw. It has a bumpy and irregular appearance. His chin also looks different. It looks like it's been defined. 
Both of these changes, I believe, were done with a dermal filler, one that is used to simulate bone, like radiase. To put it mildly, this doesn't look good. This type of bumpy and irregular appearance may go unnoticed in the regular world, but when someone is up on the big screen and has this irregular look, it's magnified tenfold. He likely did this filler in between shooting movies, just trying out a bigger chin and jaw before he committed to one through facial implants. Whatever the reason, this filler needed to come out immediately, which is why I think he needed to have his jaw surgery or jaw accident soon after this. About two months later, in November 2013, we hear about Zach suffering the slip and fall accident at his house, and he disappears from the Hollywood scene for months and reappears in January 2014. January 2014, when Zach finally reappears after months of being gone, he looks great. He looks thinner and his face looks more defined. Here he is explaining the accident on Jimmy Kimmel a few months after it happened. Actually broke my jaw. I'm observing your jaw to see you had it wired shut and all that. I did. I was like running through my house and I slipped and fell and hit my face. Actually, let me start over. This, this story starts kind of cool because I have a fountain in my house. That's kind of dope, right? Oh, wow. So, yes, yeah, so wow. I was running through and slipped on water and hit my chin on the fountain in my house. <laughs> It's not a big fountain, but it's a fountain in my yeah, house. Yeah. And uh, luckily my brother was there and I was like, oh, sh geez, man. Oh, he's like, are you okay? And I go, I don't know, man, am I okay? And he goes, no, you're not okay. Oh, really? And I go, we're going, he's like, we're going to the hospital. And I'm like, okay. Next thing I know, I'm like waking up. And, uh, Did you get stitches and everything like that? Yeah, my jaw was wired shut and I couldn't talk. How long was the jaw wired shut? Six weeks. The changes to his face are constantly being dismissed by publicists and other media as being from his jaw injury. Yet, all of the plastic surgery changes I mentioned are already in place. Now, you may be asking, well, maybe these changes are from the reconstructive jaw surgery. You're not going to see someone come out of reconstructive jaw surgery with an exaggerated chin and jaw unless it was done as a reconstructive and a cosmetic jaw surgery which in that case, it would normally involve adding facial implants or hydroxyapatite paste, which is like a facial implant. But again, that would be for aesthetics, making it a cosmetic jaw surgery, which Zach never said that he had. Now we come to 2021 and Zach releases this short Earth Day video, which got people talking about how different he looked. We will compare Zach's photo from 2018 and his photo from 2021, which caused the first uproar over Zach's appearance. Let me tell you the new changes I see. I see an even more prominent jaw and chin. That's the first area of his face my eye goes to. The jaw's width is greatest at the gonial angles, which lends to making his face look much longer overall. This new chin is very broad and has a separated appearance from the rest of his jawline as the other chin did. There's a major step off here between his jawline and his chin, where before there was a smaller step off. The new chin is longer than the previous one, and the gonial angle on the jaw implant is even lower than the previous jaw implant's gonial angle. I think that Zach has undergone another facial implant surgery. I think that he's gotten his previous jaw and chin implant swapped out and replaced with larger ones that are shaped differently. When celebrities get facial implants, they generally get custom facial implants and not ones that are off the shelf. Custom facial implants are specifically fitted for your face, made using a CT scan of your face. And together with your plastic surgeon, you can specify how you want them to look. Custom facial implants are also offered to regular people, but are usually two to three times the cost of mass-produced implants. For Zach's lips, I think he's been getting the borders filled as well as his philtrum area. I do think he's been doing this for a while as I do see a bit of filler spilling out past his lip borders, although this can also happen with improper filling technique. Now let's look at Zach in 2022. My eyes go directly to his lower face. The first thing I notice is less flesh and fat 
to this lower face area. There's been a significant leaning out of Zach's face. This was likely from weight loss. Next, I noticed that Zach's lips now curl upwards at the corners. They're also more defined at the cupid's bow. Now, this could be the result of ongoing lip filler. Previously, I analyzed that Zach's lips look like they have had lip filler to them, so I do think that there may have been a continuation of lip filler. Looking at Zach's last nose job photo, I do see some new changes to his nose in this area, as well as a scar to his nostril here. I think he may have had another finesse rhinoplasty with a nasal base reduction, which is evidenced by this scar to his sill. But the most prominent change I see to Zach and the change that a lot of people seem to be reacting to is Zach's jaw and chin. Now take a look at Zach's chin and jaw here. And this was Zach's second alleged set of jaw and chin implants. If you look, this set of jaw and chin implants has an area called a step off or a step down. And this is a name for where it indents between the chin and jaw junction. This new chin and jaw doesn't have this area. It's a smooth transition from the jaw to the chin. This look is the result of a possible replacement of the past chin implant with a new and differently shaped chin implant that has a gradual transition and not a sharp one like the past chin did. The shape of the chin is also finer and not as boxy and bulky as the last chin implant, allegedly. Take a look at the three alleged sets of chin and jaw implants here. Although the second photo is a slightly pointed down angle, we can still see a clear difference between it and the other two. Now the jaw is also different. It has a shorter drop down, which is the area right here, than the last jaw did. And the jaw itself presents as more refined and sculpted, less bulky, less Jimbro, and more refined leading man. Some people have speculated that Zach's new look is the result of dermal filler. I think it's also possible to get this defined look from jaw filler as well. Take a look at this jaw filler example. So it could have been either jaw filler or facial implants, but the price for jaw filler every few years is a lot more expensive than just getting the jaw implants. So keep that in mind. But there's something else that changed. An almost feminized look has been added to his face. But what could it be? It's not his eyes, it's his cheeks. His cheeks have a more defined look. They are also visibly higher on his face. His nasolabial folds are also a lot more prominent, which is a side effect of cheek implants. This is the look of male cheek implants. Small ones, but cheek implants nonetheless. For comparison, take a look at this photo from 2019. In this photo, Zach's cheek has a smooth transition with no bump out to his cheek. In the 2022 photo, we see a prominent bump here where I believe the cheek implant was placed, which was likely a malar cheek implant. The cheek implant produces a slightly feminized look to his upper face that although subtle is hard to miss. Now this could be cheek filler, though that's less likely as I think cheek filler would give him a less chiseled look and a more voluminous, amorphous shape. And I think that Zach was going for a chiseled, angular look to his upper face. Now, as far as Botox, I do think that Zach does get a little bit of Botox, but not the type that makes his facial muscles completely freeze. He still has lines, which tells me that he's probably getting more of a baby Botox. And I think that he likes the look of having lines. I think he's trying to look more mature. So it's only been a bit of Botox here and there to avoid having overly expressive lines. Let's add on to Zach's last list of possible plastic and cosmetic procedures. Remember, this is only speculation and not fact. Zach himself has said, 
that he has not had plastic surgery. Two rounds of hair transplants, 50,000. Upper blepharoplasty, 10,000. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. First set of custom jaw and chin implants, 20,000. Second set of custom jaw and chin implants, 20,000. Chin and jaw filler, like radiates, 4,000. Lip filler, 2,500. Third set of custom jaw and chin implants, 30,000. Lip filler, 2,500. Botox, 2,500. Second rhinoplasty, 30,000. Cheek implants, 15,000. Total cost, if Zach did have plastic surgery, there could be many reasons why he wants to keep it a secret. There's still a really big stigma about men having plastic surgery. I would say a bigger stigma than even women because men are supposed to not care about those sorts of things. But men totally get plastic surgery. It's important to realize that men are also subject to pressures of looking good, especially nowadays. Now, another reason Zach may not want to talk about his plastic surgery is because he may have signed a contract not to talk about any plastic surgery he's had. I have heard of that before with certain actors. Now, lastly, he may just not want to talk about his plastic surgery because it may be something that's very embarrassing and private to him, and he might have not realized that he looked that different that people would comment on it so publicly and openly. But I think think that now we're coming to a point where audiences and fans are going to start demanding more transparency from public figures, from actors, from influencers. So the days of hiding plastic surgery without anyone saying anything, I think, are disappearing. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments. Let's keep the comments kind or neutral. There's absolutely no reason to be negative. Zach has always been a good looking guy and he's still a really good looking guy. He just has a different look for himself now. I've attached my previous Zach Efron video from last year as well as my celebrity playlist to the end of this video. So make sure you watch those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>